Folks, do you know that we have people who are creating family banks? They become their own bank. Come on. What could be better than that? Get your house, pay it off, all of your debt, including your student loans, pay it off in seven to nine years, not having to refinance, not having to do any of that stuff, and then take their savings and then grow generational wealth. And I'm talking about not just a few thousand dollars, not just a few hundred thousand dollars. This lady, by the time she's done, by the time she's working, she will have a net worth of over one million dollars. This is what we're talking about. This can be done and she can live a great lifestyle while she's doing it. You don't have to eat beans and rice like some people say. You don't have to drive a 30-year-old car. You don't have to stay home and not create memories with your children. You can live well and do these types of things. So the very things that we've been told that the financial gurus are telling us, refinance when you can save two points on your mortgage. Listen, folks, if you're saving money by refinancing, who would have to be losing money? All right. And so, listen, there are certain things you never want to do. Never put a large down payment on a mortgage ever. So if you're getting ready to get a mortgage and you're thinking about putting a large down payment on it because it's going to save you money, don't do it. OK, let me tell you another thing. 15 year mortgages versus 30 year mortgages. Never, ever, 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 ever get a 15 year mortgage. Don't do it. Get a 30 and pay it off in six or seven years. Always get a 30. Never get anything less than a 30. In fact, they even got 40 year mortgages. And if your company will give you a 40 year, take that and pay it off in seven. I'm going to show you how that benefits you more. All right. Here's one thing. A client called me yesterday. They have over a million dollar mortgage and their mortgage was just sold to someone else. All right. So the new company has them at the higher interest rate. The new company says, oh, now that we have your mortgage, do you know we can get you down to 2.2 or 2.3? Keep you at 29 years instead of 30 years because you've already been in this mortgage for one year. So we're going to give you a brand new mortgage at for 29 years, and we're going to lower your interest rate. And he called me and he was all excited. And then I just pointed out a couple of things. I said, you mean this new company that has your mortgage has you at a higher interest rate? And they called you to lower your interest rate, which means it saves you money, correct? That means they would be what? Losing money. They purchased this mortgage from another company and then going to call him up and offer him a lower interest rate so that he can save money in order for them to lose money. Folks, does that sound like sound financial business practices to you? To pay for and purchase a financial instrument <laughs> and then take that and say, listen, Oh, yeah, all the money we were supposed to make on that, now we're going to make less because now we want to offer you a lower interest rate. Come on, folks. All we have to do is start asking very good questions when these offers come. And so he said, Don, what do we do? I said, I don't know. Let's plug in the numbers into the system and let's see what's best for you. So the bottom line on all of these questions, whatever financial road you end up on, Whichever one you choose, you only want to know one thing. How much is it going to cost me overall to apply this particular strategy? How much is it going to cost? Not what my payments are going to be, not what my interest rate is going to be, but how much is it going to cost me overall to employ this strategy? And I told him, people lie, but the numbers won't lie. He couldn't wait to get with us and plug in the numbers to see if the refinance was going to help him or to stay right where he is and to pay off his million dollar mortgage in the nine years we told him he could pay it off in. All right. Listen, he said, well, Don, one of the things that they told us is that we're going to save $95,000 over what we're doing now. And I said, remember, that's $95,000 over 29 years. Remember, you're not going to be in your mortgage 29 years. 
So that $95,000 to you doesn't apply. That's $95,000 savings over 29 years. You're only going to be in your mortgage for nine. So those numbers don't apply. He says, oh, I didn't think about that. So folks, there's so much going on with these things that we don't know. We don't have the rules to the game. And once you know the rules, I guarantee you, you will save the maximum amount of interest that's mathematically possible for you. But Don has some valuable information that can contribute to the quality of a person's life. And it only costs you a few dollars. He says, it's his book. Why not get that? I'm going to go through the pill method myself with some of my investment properties. So I'm going to link up with uh, uh, Don and then I'm going to sit down with him, show him my investment portfolio and see how I can eliminate interest.